Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. All right, this is part two of Hello Kitty assembling. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I totally appreciate all the support I can get. All right, the first um, the first tutorial was this little guy. Um, this is the cutout for the time, the clock mechanism, and we did the foam board. So now we're gonna assemble this, this thing. Um, I pretty much have uh, put together kind of all the pieces. This one's tricky because of the image itself. It's got a thick border. There aren't really, um, be you know, when it has a thick border, it's difficult because some of the pieces don't, there's no clues as to where everything goes necessarily. So we're going to be working on that. So let's piece this together, glue it down. Um, I already, you know, I did some blinging on Dodgers and LA, which is right here. I knew I wanted to use my rhinestones. I really wanted to make this extra, extra. So there's gonna be a couple things that when I go to design space that I'm gonna tweak a little bit of the design. So for instance, the word Dodgers, I did a black outline just so that my diamonds or my you know rhinestones would stand out a little bit more because I wanted to use this blue glitter cardstock, but I also wanted to bling out the letters. So I felt like the black outline uh, just made it a little bit more legible. Because if you look at the LA sign, the LA has a, it has this cut out. So it naturally has the black offset. So I wanted to do the same here. So all right, let's piece this together. Let's put all the, all the pieces down and start working on this thing. It's gonna be so cute. I've got the um, the softball, and so I'm super excited to get this going. Okay, so clue number one is the whiskers. They match this, so that's gonna help us out in putting this together. And I think that looks that looks even around. So let's look at this hat and see. The hat looks good. Let me move this down a little bit. All right, let's work on the bow really quickly. So here is the bow. I did the black outline because there were so many pieces to this that I thought it would be easier to put, put it down on here. So let's glue this and then what we'll do is I have a couple layers and so we'll, um, we'll use foam tape on the layers. But this first one, let's just put down. And if you're wondering, I love this red. It is vibrant and it's got like a sheen to it. It's from Cricut. It's not glitter cardstock. It's, um, I'll have to look it up. Give me, you know what? Give me one second. Let me pull it out before we forget because it's so pretty. Um, I think it's this. Is it this? It is this. It's the Shimmer Paper Bedazzled Sampler, and it's the red. Um, in rich red. And it is definitely rich. It's so, so pretty. I can't get over it. Okay, so that looks good, and then we'll put the other pieces in. So let's glue this down. And then we can also put foam tape on the black layer to stick on top of here. So the bow will stick out a little bit, which I like. So let's do this. This red is so pretty. And I just love that, um, you know, I'm able to find a, a really vibrant red that's not glittery because we already have so much glitter going on with the blue um, that it is just perfect. I absolutely love it. Okay, let's see. Where's my other piece? I am somehow missing. I think I'm missing a piece. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. I'm gonna use, um, all right. Um, I wanted to use my little 
tweezers. Oh, here it is. Just so that I can hold it. Okay. The only thing difficult with this file that I've been seeing is that the offset is thick. So it's, you know, it's a little bit hard to eyeball it and make sure that it's even. That's the only thing I don't like. All right, that's gonna have to do. Okay, so on these pieces, Uh, you know what? I'm just not going to foam do foam tape on the small pieces. We'll do it on the bow and the and the circle pieces. We're gonna make life easy on us, and it's totally good because it's my piece, and we can do whatever the heck we want to do with it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this just because it's thicker. sure it's really pressed down this is from the Dollar Tree it's the foam mounts and it's actually in the car section which I think is funny but um it's nice and thick there's a lot of surface to, surface area to it so it has a good adhesive to it so I'm not going to glue it down or anything I'm just gonna peel it off and add the next layer little off but that's okay with adhesive um, you really want to make sure that the pressure the pressure is what is the key to making sure that everything sticks and lasts for a long time so I'm gonna do another layer This one again because it's a little bit too thick. Move it a little bit. I don't want that white sticking out because it's so red. The white's going to be so obvious. All right, pulling this off. It's so pretty. I cannot wait to piece this together. And then when that ball starts to move with the stitching, you can tell that it's rotating, which is gonna make it so, so cool. So it's definitely my first um, off the mat character that is using the clock mechanism. So I am super excited. Okay. And there it is, my last piece. looks so good <laughs> all right we're not gonna put it down just yet I just want to do that piece there okay so let's um, let's look at all these pieces okay uh, I don't think that you can see it on camera but there is a line coming a seam right here right through the nose um, not through this eye so what I recommend doing is this right adding um, just the black piece to put over it now the seam is gone so we'll do that afterwards um, let's put all our pieces down let's see I'm gonna move this up so you can see it let's see this is down here See, what, what I mean is it's kind of hard to tell where 
these pieces go. So right now we're just going to put it down. We'll line up everything afterwards. Let's see what we've got here. This is going to be the hand. And I'm going to have to occasionally peek at my screen over here just to get a perspective of, you know, the evenness. It's hard looking down being so close to it. I almost need some space. Mm, no. Let's see. I think it's like this actually. doesn't make any sense that makes better sense <laughs> okay um, let's see how's it looking looking pretty good but you see how just like a little bit of movement changes everything so when we're gluing this down this is going to be the most difficult part I think um, all right let's continue I want this line to be that looks pretty good actually this side definitely doesn't look good <laughs> so let's see if we can get this to look better I wonder that looks better Definitely this way, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm struggling with this little this little piece right here. It doesn't look right. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that is better. Okay. I got the little cap piece up there. Let's move that down. Let's see how this looks. Oops. Wow. good well I'm nervous I feel like once we put this down it's down all right this looks too thick right there 
So what do I need to move? I need to move this over. Perfect. Is that better? <laughs> I'm gonna be so nervous to, to glue this down. I'm not gonna wanna do it. Okay. That looks good, right? Okay. This we can do at the end. This is not critical, but we can glue down this piece. So this is kind of heavy. I'm actually gonna plug in my glue gun and let's see, what else are we missing? I think that's it. So let's definitely glue down the face first because we know where the face goes because of these whiskers. So let's do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and glue it like, oops, let's, well, let's make sure that we're back in the right place. <laughs> All right, this is thickness. I think it goes over a little bit, goes down a little bit. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to put my hand down and I'm going to glue this. So if that's down, we can also glue in this piece, but we can glue that in afterwards. Once this is dry, or a little bit better, I'm going to lift this up on this side and we can glue down the rest of this. So let's glue in our little guy right here. Seam is gone. We've got another seam right here. And just so that, I mean, I don't think it's obvious or anything, but let's just do this side. Just so that it matches, even though there's no seams there. All right, so while we're at it, let's do the nose. it's coming together okay let's redo this and make sure that we're super happy with this so how does that look on camera I feel like those are the right pieces how does that look even okay. all right how does that look oh, I'm so nervous <laughs> okay let's see
just need to move around. Am I making a big deal out of nothing? Possibly, possibly. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Does that look? Okay. Let's do this. Oh, that's why maybe. Let's do this guy. And when you're using Barely Art Glue, it doesn't take that much to for it to dry. But while it's drying, I do like to press down just to make sure that the glue gets good contact with the bottom and so that the, you know, whatever you're gluing on top doesn't curl at all. So just give it a couple pats and then you should be good. All right, we're moving on. Let's do this little guy right here. down oh my goodness we're getting there I'm gonna move this up a little bit Whoa. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> let's redo this really quickly and make sure it's all good And this has to be done. This has to be done. So, um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel like I messed up. Um, I mean, I didn't mess up, mess up, but <laughs> let's fix this. How does that look? That looks good. All right, let's glue this down. I'm in, on this one. I'm just gonna lift up half of it and glue it down so that my spot doesn't change at all. Okay. Do the same thing on this side. Hold it down, lift it up, and let's glue down half of it. Okay. I know this shifted a little bit, so let's move that back. Are these two identical? Let's look. Okay, they are identical, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. I wanted to make sure, in case they weren't identical, that I get the left one on the left one and, you know, whatever, so. But they are identical. All right, so let's glue down this second half.
I'm struggling with this. Uh, no, it's definitely not that. <laughs> okay, it's down. Let's see this side. See the bottom piece, we're just moving along. All right. Okay, let's get this down. This piece feels so weird to me. That's why. Like, why didn't it? It was, yeah. See, it was flipped. Now I'm wondering. Did I do anything else? Okay. Now that looks better. I feel better. Looks good. Looks good. All right. Is it funny how like you're so close to it and it seems so obvious and yet it's not obvious. <laughs> okay. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Let's do this piece. this piece and then let's see what this looks like yeah that looks good right, do we like the hand where it is Okay, so we're good there. All right, so this whole bottom is down. What we have left is the hat. So the hat should be easy peasy. Let's put this little white one on. Okay, so there's our hat. That looks good, right? We'll take this out for now. <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. We've got um, just this hat portion left. I think it looks pretty good. 
So I'm going to put my hand down, pull this one up, and see if we can glue this down. Okay, I'm going to lift this up a little bit. So that's down. I have this small little blue piece that goes in between the A. Can you even see that? All right, let's put down our LA. Okay, so this, I'm actually gonna use my hot glue gun and I'm gonna put this down just a little bit so I can see it better. Cause, and the only reason why I'm doing it is because I do think that the rhinestones are heavy so I want to make sure it's on here. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. All right, um, I'm gonna put this little guy down and oh it's so small all right i'm just gonna put a little dot there okay hopefully i can do this perfect oh my god that looks so good okay <laughs> Um, let's get this down. This, we're going to put some foam squares on here. It's gonna look amazing. I'm gonna use the adhesive on the four on the outside. This middle one, I'm gonna put hot glue gun down. I don't want my bow to fall off, so just in case. Just in case, oh my gosh, I'm, I love this. I cannot wait to put that battery in to see how it goes. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So cute. Okay. Um, I am going to move this out. Let's, um, you know what? We got to do our Dodgers. So let's see where that, well, let's glue down our Dodgers. So. Oh my gosh, I have an ant on me. The heck? Ah, while I'm gluing, that is not good. Okay, let's see. I don't even know if I put enough glue down. I don't know where that ant came from. I hope there's not more ants. How horrible. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's down. Let's make sure this gets good glue. You know what? And I'm I'm gonna actually use beacon glue right now because let me grab it. Where did I put it? The reason is the hot glue gun is drying so quickly on me. And oh here it is. I think this is gonna give me a little bit more time 
if I use speaking. So let's put this up. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So, clean it up while we have a chance. as fast as I can. OMG. So good. I love it. 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 Okay. Um, let's work on this little guy. Let me get the clock mechanism. We just need to get a hand, you know, like the, the hands on here. So let's do that. Let's see what we have here. I think this will be good. Um, where's my little clock? I just had it, here we go. Okay, so here's the clock. This one's a little bit long for this, so I could, we could roll this up a little bit more. We could do this. So it's gonna sit like that, oh, so actually we're good. So, um, whoops, hold on, hold on. Let's clean up all this stuff. Move it out of the way. Let's put our battery in. Okay. So this is our little guy. So which way? It goes like this. Okay. And so you see the clock is starting to move. We're going to put this on top. And this is not. Hold on. Okay, so what we can do is we can glue this piece down and make sure it's down. Well, let's make sure that we like where it is. Is it in the middle? Okay. So what we're gonna do is this is on. Okay. I'm gonna put this right where it's supposed to be, right? So let's get this out. And I just want to make sure that once we glue it down, that it's glued in the right spot. So I think, let me move this so I can see it a little bit better. I 
it's hard for me to see <laughs> on camera. So I think, okay, let me see if I can pull this down even more. So hard to tell. I wanna make sure that it's right. It's really hard to tell. Does that look good? Okay, so I'm gonna put glue down and then we'll put this on, we'll see. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay. So. From the back, I'm going to glue this down. Hopefully we like the placement. <laughs> Cause it's done now. All right, I'm gonna put that down. Gonna put our battery in. And it's going down. <laughs> All right. So now you have it, we'll glue this whole thing down to the foam board and then you're done. But I, all right, oh my gosh. So let's see, Does, it looks even, all right, let me see. There. We'll see how it goes. All right. I hope you love it. I hope this was fun. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions. And I don't know, I look forward to your suggestions too. See if, what else we can do to make it spin and make the off the mat characters fun. All right, see you guys next time.